jagranjosh.com brings for its readers current affairs bulletin for the period which will be of immense help to the students in their preparations for different competitive exams current affairs headlines deepa malik becomes first indian woman to win medal at paralympics union cabinet approves formation of gst council Stanislas Wawrinka wins 2016 US men's singles title. Angelique Kerber wins 2016 US Open women's singles title. Army Green wins 2016 Durand Cup. Swachh Sarvekshan for rural areas released. Mariyappan Thangavelu wins India's first gold medal at Rio Paralympic Games. CBDT launches e-nivaran to resolve income tax grievances. India Blue wins 2016-17 Dilip Trophy. Reliance Communications Air Cell to be merged. US signs 38 billion dollars deal with Israel. Fortune releases list of most powerful women based outside the US. Javelin thrower Devendra Jhajharia wins gold at Rio Paralympics. India declares itself free from bird flu. East Bengal wins 2016 Calcutta Football League. Current affairs in detail. Deepa Malik becomes first Indian woman to win medal at Paralympics. Malik clinched a silver medal in the shot put F53 event at the Rio Paralympics. Her throw of 4.61 meters was the best in her six attempts. Fatima Nadham of Bahrain won the gold medal. Greece's Dimitra Korokida packed the bronze medal. Union cabinet approves formation of GST council. The council will consist of the finance minister and the state finance ministers. It will make recommendations on important issues related to GST including items and rates. The council will be created as per article 279A of the amended constitution. The GST Council Secretariat will be created with its office at New Delhi. Stanislas Wawrinka wins 2016 US Open men's singles title. Stan Wawrinka defeated world number 1 Novak Djokovic 6-7, 6-4, 7-5, 6-3 to clinch the title. It is Wawrinka's maiden US Open title and his third major title. The US Open was a tennis tournament played on outdoor hard courts. The 2016 US Open was the 136th edition of the US Open. Angelique Kerber wins 2016 US Open women's singles title. Angelique Kerber defeated Karolina Pliskova by 6-3, 4-6, 6-4. Kerber became the first German to win the US Open since Steffi Graf in 1996. Pliskova became the first Czech woman to make the US Open final since 1993. Pliskova is the only fourth player to defeat both the Williams sisters in the same Grand Slam tournament. Army Green wins 2016 Durand Cup. Army Green defeated Neroka FC 6-5 via penalty shootouts. In the semi-final, Army Green had prevailed over Aizawal FC by a 4-2 margin. By defeating Aizawal, Army Green became the first army team since 2005 to reach the title clash. With this victory, Army Blue collected the cash prize of 45 lakh rupees. Swachh Sarvekshan for Rural Areas released. Mandi in Himachal Pradesh and Sindhu Durg in Maharashtra were declared as the cleanest districts in India. Mandi was judged as the cleanest district in hills category. Sindhu Durg was judged as the cleanest in the plains category. A total of 22 hill districts and 53 plain areas were assessed under the Gramin Swachh Sarvekshan. The Quality Council of India was commissioned to carry out the assessment. Mariyappan Thangavelu wins India's first gold medal at Rio Paralympic Games. Thangavelu won the gold in the men's high jump 
T42 event with a leap of 1.89 meters. With this, he also became the first Indian high jumper to win gold at the Paralympics. Bronze in the event also went to India through Varun Singh Bharti. USA's Sam Grew bagged the silver medal. CBDT launches e-nivaran to resolve income tax grievances. The grievances can be related to refunds, income tax returns, tax deducted at source, etc. Its aim is to reduce instances of harassment of the public when it comes to complaints related to the IT department. It will help taxpayers in registering their complaints through their computer. It will also allow the complainant to track the progress of the complaint. India Blue wins 2016-17 the lead trophy. The team was captained by Gautam Gambhir. In the final, it defeated India Red, captained by Yuvraj Singh. Cheteshwar Pujara was named the player of the match. This was the inaugural day-night Dilip Trophy cricket tournament. The Dilip Trophy is named after Kumar Shri Dilip Singh Ji of Navanagar. Reliance Communications Aircel to be merged. The merger is termed as the biggest consolidation deal in India's telecom sector. It will create the fourth largest telecom operator in the country. Both Arcom and Maxis will hold 50% each in the new entity. Sistema will continue to hold 10% in standalone Arcom. US signed $38 billion deal with Israel. This military assistance package will be provided over the 10-year period. Israel will receive $3.8 billion a year from the US. The deal is the largest such agreement the US has ever had with any country. At present, US gives $3.1 billion to Israel annually under a 10-year deal that ends in 2018. Fortune releases list of most powerful women based outside the US. The 2016 list spans 19 countries and is comprised of 16% new names. The list is topped by Banco Santander's Anna Boten. SBI Chief Arundhati Bhattacharya reserved second rank in the list. Other Indians are Chanda Kochar on 5th rank and Axis Bank CEO Shikha Sharma on 19th rank. Javelin thrower Devendra Jhajharia wins gold at Rio Paralympics. Devendra Jhajharia became the first Indian to clinch two gold medals at the Paralympics. He had won his previous gold in the 2004 Athens Games. World number one Chunliang Guo from China won the silver medal in the event. Sri Lanka's Herat Priyantha grabbed the bronze. India declares itself free from bird flu. The declaration was made by the Department of Animal Husbandry under the Agriculture Ministry. The department was notified the same to the World Organization for Animal Health. The outbreak of avian influenza was notified on 9th May 2016 at Humnabad Bidar district, Karnataka. Bird flu spreads from infected birds to other winged creatures through contact with nasal and respiratory secretions. East Bengal wins 2016 Calcutta Football League. East Bengal won the tournament for the seventh consecutive time. The team defeated Mohammedan Sporting 1-0 at the Kalyani Stadium. East Bengal bettered its own record of winning it six times straight from 1970 to 1975. East Bengal Football Club is a professional football club based in Kolkata. For more on current affairs, log on to jagranjosh.com.